After about 202 days, the Mars spacecraft would reach its destination and gravity would draw it into orbit. The captain would begin a last-minute virtual reality session to rehearse for the landing. He would have been practicing throughout the mission to be sure the descent to Mars would go smoothly. The Martian surface must be monitored closely for violent dust storms that can appear with little notice. Such a storm destroyed an unmanned Russian spacecraft that landed on Mars in the 1970s. From Mars orbit, the crew could also see the specific places they've come here to explore. Places where previous robotic missions detected minerals that might lead to evidence of Martian life and to crucial underground supplies of water. Mars has water. There's oceans of water frozen into the Martian soil as permafrost, enough that if the planet was flattened out and the water was melted out of the soil, the planet would be under 600 feet of water. Now that's dry compared to the Earth. If the Earth was flat, we'd be under 6,000 feet of water. But the Earth's a water world. You got rid of the Earth's oceans and froze the rest of the water into the soil, the Earth would be about as wet as Mars. 